folks, welcome back to Hapes of Games and Alan Wake Remastered has just launched and today I'm going to do a graphics comparison and just a quick first impressions of the game if you've not played it before. So today I'm comparing the Xbox 360 version alongside the Xbox Series X version and I gotta say my first impressions are yeah, not a lot of change, I suppose, artistically. There is some changes to character modeling. The animations themselves look unchanged. What I will say is they play out smoother because it's running in 60 FPS. But uh, the lighting to me looks pretty much the same as it was on the 360 version. I'm just doing some side-by-sides here between the 360 and the Series X, as I said. So the main difference being that it's 60 FPS and it's locked at 4K on the Xbox Series X. The Xbox 360 version was originally running on 720p and 30 FPS. So I suppose they're the huge gains here on the remastered version. But again, I suppose from a lighting perspective, I actually find the Series X is a little bit brighter, maybe. And the 360 version is a little bit darker undertones. I actually like the contrast on the 360 version a little bit better than the remastered version. Just to point to note here as well, this footage is captured in 1080p. I don't have a 4K capture card, so unfortunately I can't show you that sharpness that you get from the 4K image. I can tell you it looks great on a big TV. And look, ultimately this is probably the best way to play it. But maybe from a, an enhancement point of view graphically, there's nothing major beyond, as I said, the 4K image quality, the 60 FPS. It's really as expected as to what a remaster should be. Don't go in expecting the remake. I know it's in the name, but still sometimes people get this confused. Just some crossover here and some picture-in-picture -picture images from the Xbox Series X and the Xbox 360 version. You can see, as I mentioned previously, a little bit lighter on the Xbox Series X, but uh, I captured both the Xbox 360 footage and the Series X footage raw using my capture card, so I haven't changed any brightness or contrast settings in the capture card settings, or as I mentioned, no changes made in the in-game menus. So this seems to be the default kind of contrast ratio. So yeah, as you can see, a little bit darker in the Xbox 360 version and the contrast ratio i actually think the colors pop a little bit more on the xbox 360 version so yeah i actually prefer it to be honest uh, the other aspect maybe is just to briefly talk about the actual gameplay real quick while i'm doing these side besides you know the gameplay is as it was uh, nothing has really changed there it's kind of a bare bones survival game and the fact is uh, there isn't much micromanagement of inventory and stuff like that it is what it is, and you know, the gameplay is still quite fun, although some of it has aged a little bit, and it's more so in variety, maybe halfway through the game when you get there. And what I mean there is, you kind of get all the weapons, all the different variety of weapons and enemies, pretty much at that point, and then after that then, it's just a kind of retread of certain action scenes and stuff like that. I enjoy the combat, it's quite fun. But I'd suspect there may be some who might tire out towards the latter end of the game if kind of these action sequences get repeated a lot. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the remaster. I think the biggest plus here with the remaster is the price point. It only costs 30 euro physical or digital. And I assuming sterling similar price and US dollar similar price. So I mean, that is a good way to price a remaster like this. So well done to the publishers for marking it at that price. It's a fair price. It's This is a great entry for anybody who's not played the game at all. Definitely worth a pick up for that price point if you've never experienced this. Maybe for diehard fans as well of Alan Wake, it's a good pick up. But if you weren't a massive fan of the original Alan Wake and you are looking to step into this again, I'd probably say it's a pass for you. You can always play this backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X if you have a Series X already with the original 360 version. I think that's probably sufficient. But as I said, really, this is kind of more geared towards people on PlayStation probably who haven't played it at all because uh, it's not been on the PlayStation platform until now. And as I said, um, if you've never experienced the game on the Xbox Series X, a great time to get it. So that's it guys for another graphics comparison video. This has been Alan Wake Remastered versus the original Xbox 360 edition. If you like what you've watched today, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps support me grow. 
And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.